Hello and very welcome to the channel. In the last video, we learned about how to schedule a particle notification at a certain time interval. Okay, and in today's video, we are going to learn how to schedule or place a local notification based upon a particular date and time set by you. And we are also learn how to associate a certain information with our local notification and how to get that information and use a tab on a particular notification. So let's start. So here we are setting the notification using UN time interval notification trigger class. So instead of this class, we are going to use UN calendar notification trigger so that we can fire or schedule a notification at a particular calendar or a date. So here it accepts the parameter date matching, the, ma the date that is matched with the trigger date or the date you want to set for the notification to be fired up and repeats whether you want to repeat with a certain parameter or not. So let's set it false and now we need to create the date component. So let fire date is equals to calendar dot current dot date components and here we need to pass the date components we required so we require dot day dot month dot year dot hours dot minute dot seconds and from date that is from which date we want these kind of components so if we pass here date dot this then it means that the current date and time and let's add some few seconds to it or you can change the date by using this adding time interval so here you can pass the time intervals pause if you want to set a day that is tomorrow date then you can pass the seconds like this because in a whole day we have 86,400 seconds so for the time being we will pass 13 seconds and now let's first of all add fire date here fire date was here now let's associate the information with our not call notification so content dot user info is equals to value uh, here we set dummy value data with local notification and here we will change notification uh, a certain date on certain date and data with local notification the spelling mistake now here we are all that we associated the information with our local notification and also the trigger date so let's first test that whether it's doing its job or not and then we will move forward so command s and command r and it's the build succeeded and here we will set reminder move back to the home screen of our phone and here you note that if you are testing in the simulator then you need to sometimes you need to change the date of the mac and reset the or restart the simulator so that you get notified and in device it works perfectly fine so let's see if we get the notification after 30 seconds of time interval from the date. And here you can see this is notification on a certain date. This is a local notification or something. So if I tap on here, the application opens up, but I am not notified that it is responsible to open the app or what the information is with the local notification. So for that, we will go to app delegate and we need to implement certain delegates. So here we say UN user notification center dot current dot delegate is equals to self and here we have UN user notification center delegate and if we go here then we have two delegates here here this is will present and the second one it did receive response 
So we will implement both. And scroll down. And here we'll present and second is did see so here we have the two delicate methods and they have the completion handler associated with it so let's call the completion handler completion handler and here we have to pass dot alert comma dot match comma dot sound and similarly this is so here we didn't require anything because here we have an empty closer so completion handler and here this method is going to use that if your app is foreground then the notification will be shown to you so let's start and this time let's make the time interval a little less so here we have 10 seconds and let's run the app and here we set reminder so let's see if we fire the notification after 10 seconds or not the app is in foreground and here you can see so let's remove this and let's run the app again so you will know what these notification present options do and set reminder wait for 10 seconds And here you can see no sound because we uh, we remove this from here. So dot sound. Similarly, if I remove alert, then you, the sound will be there, but no alert will be shown to you. And here we scheduled. Let's wait for ten seconds again. And here you can see no alert so we need to pass alert here now when this response method will get called whenever user interacts with the notifications okay so here what we will do in order to test that what response is associated with so print and user info associated with notification is equals to and here we need to pass the user information associated with our notification here we have response dot notification dot request dot content dot user info so now let's run the app again So here, let's do. And here, I if I click here, you can see that this method gets called, and here we have the response, the value data with local notification, and same method will get triggered when we are from the the app is in the background. And user is coming from the home screen. So let's say set reminder, go back. And here, if I tap, and here you can see in the console, this is printed. So here, this is a small tutorial that cover up our user local notification. Here we learn how to do local notification 
for a particular time interval and a particular date and how to get data associated with the local notification and learn about you and user notification center delegates so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed so far lastly thanks for watching bye for now